Hello children, hope you are all fine. Today we will discuss science of class 3, chapter 12, sun as a natural resource. Please open page number 105. Let's start. We often wonder when we look at the night sky with countless of twinkling stars. Some of them are hot balls of fire and they are actually stars. Some are not hot balls of fire but sign with the light of other stars. They are planets and moons. Now we will discuss about the sun. The sun is actually a star. It is a ball of very hot gases giving out heat and light. There are other stars which are much bigger than the sun. The sun is the nearest to us. Its heat and light reaches us. Other stars are very, very far away from us. That is why they look small and their heat and light does not reach us. Sun rays bring heat and light on the earth. They keep the earth warm for all living things. The sun rays fall on every part of the earth, the desert, oceans, plains and mountains. Some parts of the earth become very hot, whereas some are just warm. You learnt in your previous lesson that heat of the sun causes water cycle. The snow on high mountains melts and flows down as rivers. So we can say that sun is the main source of light and heat energy. There is life on the earth because of the sun. Sun helps plants to grow. Plants are the only living things which make their own food. Animals either eat plants or flesh of other animals. Photosynthesis is a process by which Plants make their own food from water, carbon dioxide and chlorophyll in the presence of sunlight. Plants make food in their leaves. This process occurs when green plant absorbs the energy of the light from the sun and converts carbon dioxide and water into their food. The light energy from the sun is absorbed by the green color called chlorophyll present in the leaves. The light energy from the sun is absorbed by the green color called chlorophyll present in the leaves. The carbon dioxide from the air is absorbed by the leaves and water is absorbed by the roots from the soil and sent to the leaves. While the leaves make the food, it gives out oxygen into the air. This food is then used by plants to grow. Animals breathe in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. Plants use carbon dioxide and give out oxygen during the daytime. This way, plants and animals help each other. That means, plants are giving us oxygen and we animals breathe out carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide is going to be very essential for the plants. So, this way, plants and animals are helping each other. Now, I will discuss few question answers and objectives with you. You can see them on the screen.
Hope you all liked the class. Now please read the chapter nicely and do the assignment in your science interlib copy. Thank you.